There are three strands to my teaching that I like to focus on. The first of these is the personal interaction. For any high performance environment to be successful, the interaction between the people in that environment needs to be as progressive as possible. Consequently, I aim to have a warm, caring, open environment where you, the student, is comfortable being yourself, comfortable asking questions of me. Students I find who take ownership of their studies by asking questions, being inquisitive, these are the ones best able to progress from a H4 to a H3, a H3 to a H2, a H2 to a H1. The second strand I focus on is the maths itself. Students need to be comfortable with the language of maths, how to deal with maths, and be unfazed by some of the things that are thrown at them. Frequently, I come across students who will say, why? And in my experience, the students who say why are the ones that progress the best. By asking why, we try and break down some of the misconceptions the students may have about the subject, understand why certain phrases, certain words, or certain mathematical terms are in questions. And frequently, you get a great sense when students say, oh, I always thought that. Now I understand why that isn't quite correct. The third strand is, of course, the exam itself. We are in an exam-based system. In order to get the best out of yourself and get the result that you want, you have to be good at the maths and you also have to be good at the exam. So when we focus on the exam and exam questions, you can't look at a question without the marking scheme. They don't exist without each other. A question may appear to be difficult, but when you have the marking scheme to hand and you're familiar with the marking scheme, you'll understand how marks are awarded. And we'll spend an awful lot of time in the classroom looking at the difference between information and detail. Now, frequently I find students concentrate on the detail, and that means they can't begin a question. So they'll say, I didn't know how to start. I didn't know where to begin. And by focusing on these three strands in the classroom, I hope to be able to show you, the student, that you are able to control the level that you obtain at the end of your journey through this subject.